Hello everyone, I am Yen Uma Maheshwari, Assistant Professor of Mahalakshmi Women's College of Arts and Science from the Department of BCom Bank Management here to share you an excellent, most interesting book named Atomic Habits. An easy and proven way to build good habits and break the bad ones. A scientific approach of habit written by James Clear and was published during the year 2018. While going through the table of content page, the author beautifully divided the way to build our habits which form part of our daily life on the basis of four laws. The first law, make it obvious. Second, make it attractive. Third, make it easy. Fourth law, make it satisfying. The law which got my eyes was, of course, the third law, make it easy. Everyone in this world wishes to get things in an easy possible way. But it requires immense hard work, isn't, isn't it? it? So enough. Let's go in detail with a chapter that inspired me a lot. Walk slowly, not backwards. I repeat, walk slowly, but never walk backwards. The author, James Clear, begins with an example. Jerry Ulsman, a professor at University of Florida, divided his entire film photography students into two groups. The left side of the classroom would be the quantity group. They would be graded based on the amount of work produced. On the final day of class, he would tally the number of photos submitted by each student of the quantity group. Say, 100 photos will be graded A, 90 photos will be graded B, 80 photos graded C. Meanwhile, everyone on the right side of the classroom would be guess yeah it is the quality group they would be graded only on the excellence only on the excellence of their work they would only need to produce a single photo during the entire semester but to get an A grade it had to be nearly a perfect, perfect image. Now, the semester ended. Do you have any guess regarding the best photos produced by which group? If your guess is the quality group, the answer is perfect no. The professor himself was surprised to find that all the best photos were produced by the quantity group. This is so because during the semester, these students were busy taking photos and experimenting the various aspects like the composition, lighting, testing out the various methods in the dark room and learning from their mistakes. In the process of creating 100 photos, they honed their skills. But on the other side, the quality group sat around speculating about perfection. In the end, they had little to show for their efforts and just one medical photo. Now from this, it is easy to get bogged down trying to find the optimum plan for change. We are so focused on figuring out the best approach that we never get around taking an action. The author James Clear quoted a saying of Voltaire, the best is the enemy of the good. I repeat, the best is the enemy of the good. The author refers this as a difference between being in motion and taking action. 
the two ideas sound similar but they are not the same while in motion you are just planning strategizing learning those all are good things but they don't produce any result but action on the other hand is a type of behavior that delivers an outcome to make it more easy for you to understand if i outline 20 ideas for my article that's motion if i sit down and write it's action most of us are experts at avoiding criticisms it doesn't feel good to be judged publicly so to avoid such situations we keep us in motion rather than action to delay failures the author brings the chain chain link here if motion is mere planning if you need a change you need to keep practicing practice in sense a way to master a habit a key to start with repetition not perfection to master a habit it is a key to start with repetition not perfection the more you repeat an activity the more the structure of your brain change to become efficient at that activity neuroscientists say this as long term potentialization of course we feel difficulties of day one in any field be it a new place new job new skills to learn it becomes easy only when they are repeated our habit line chart is now on the screen the point a shows habit requires a good deal of effort and concentration to perform point b after repetition it is easier and requires conscious attention point c shows with enough practice the habit becomes more automatic than conscious thus a new habit is formed so finally the author clearly ends walk slowly towards perfection walk slowly towards perfection not backwards to build a habit you shouldn't be just in motion like the quality group you need to practice you need to practice a lot like a, the quantity group and the more you practice or repeat your action b it 20 times 50 times 100 times it makes your new habit more more automatic last but not the least practice makes a man perfect by changing his behavior but but habit makes life perfect thank you